Assalamu alaikum, my name is Maria Yaseen and I welcome you all to my science lecture. Today my topic is the life cycle of plants and my subtopic is why and how do plants reproduce. By the end of this video you will be able to explain why do plants reproduce and what are the different types of plant reproduction. Before moving further, you must have to know that what is reproduction. So in the simplest word, it is the process by which a living organism, animals and plants creates a likeness of itself. For example, take a look at the life cycle of tomato plant. Starting from the seed which is present within the fruits, when these seeds fall on the ground, they will germinate into a young plant. This young plant then grows into a mature plant. These mature plant bear some flowers and these flowers then develop into fruits. These fruits also have some other seeds and the cycle will continue again. How do the plants reproduce? Plants use different modes to reproduce. Some plants reproduce from seeds, some plants reproduce from spores, and some of the other plants reproduce from their own parts. So, move step by step. First of all, we will talk about plants that reproduce from seeds. Take a look at this example, mango apple and apricot. These three fruits have seeds enclosed in them through which they will reproduce. Plants that reproduce from spores. Look at this picture. This is a fawn plant leaf with spores. On the back side of the leaf you can see the black color spores on it. Another example is a moss plant with its spores. Both of these plants bear spores. When these spores fall on the ground, they will germinate into a new young plant. Now the plants reproduce from their parts, for example, birds or stem. Look at these pictures, potato and ginger. You can look the light green birds present on the potato surface. There is another example. Look at this picture. You can see a stem. This stem will also be able to grow a new plant. For example, in mint plant, a new young mint plant can grow from the stem of the mint plant. Now there are two big and important questions. First, why do the plants reproduce? And the second, what happens if they do not reproduce? To give the answer of the first question, it is easy that plants reproduce to ensure the continuity of their own kind. Take a look at this example. This is a picture of an adult apple plant. These apples have enclosed their seeds in it. When these seeds fall on the ground, they will germinate into a seedling or a young plant. This young plant then grows into an adult plant and having apples. What happens if plants do not reproduce? First, they will grow old, they will die eventually after that, and they will become extinct. Some of the examples of extinct plants. 
Take a look at this beautiful picture. This is a picture of wooden cycad plant. This plant is now extinct. There is another picture of Yunnan Malwa. This is another plant which is now extinct or no more present on this land. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot.